Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, we're exploring how smart technology can transform your experience by maximizing yields, controlling odors, and supporting your plants. Before we jump in, please remember this is an educational video and is for educational purposes only. Let's face it, maximizing a small grow space can be challenging. That's because smaller grow areas have a much higher surface area to volume ratio when compared to larger grow rooms. As a result, any source of heat, whether from grow lights, electrical components, or plant transpiration, can quickly increase the temperature within the tent. And since warmer air holds more moisture, the relative humidity can spike rapidly, hurting your plants. That's exactly why environmental monitoring tools like hygrometers, thermometers, VPD sensors, and light sensors are must-haves for any small grow setup. These aren't just flashy gadgets. They're practical, responsive tools that help you stay ahead of the curve and get the most out of even the tightest spaces. The best part about smart environmental sensors is that they can connect directly to your phone or smart controller. That means real-time alerts, automated responses, and historical tracking. So you're not guessing what went wrong days after it happened. If something starts to drift, whether it's your humidity creeping up or your light cycle getting thrown off, you'll know about it instantly. And in many setups, your controller can take action for you, turning on a fan, activating a dehumidifier, or adjusting your lights. Let's break them down, starting with hygrometers. A hygrometer measures relative humidity, giving you real-time insights into how much moisture is in the air. In small tents, where airflow is limited and moisture from plant transpiration can build up quickly, monitoring humidity is crucial. Too much humidity invites mold, mildew, and bud rot. Too little, and your plants can become stressed, leading to slow growth and brittle leaves. A smart hygrometer helps you stay in that sweet spot, which is typically between 40 and 70 percent, depending on your plant's stage of growth. Thermometers. A thermometer tracks ambient temperature inside the grow space. Cannabis thrives in a narrow temperature range that is generally between 70 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and a few degrees cooler at night. In a small space, temperatures can rise quickly, especially with strong lighting or poor ventilation. A thermometer lets you spot heat spikes early, helping you adjust your lighting height, airflow, or cooling system before your plants get damaged. Many smart thermometers also log temperature data over time, helping you spot patterns or troubleshoot environmental problems. VPD sensors. VPD, or vapor pressure deficit, is a more advanced metric that combines temperature and humidity data to measure how effectively your plants are transpiring. A proper VPD range ensures your plants are taking in nutrients efficiently and growing vigorously. If the VPD is too low, your plants may stop transpiring, which stunts growth and increases the risk of mold. If it's too high, they'll transpire too fast and dry out. VPD sensors give you a more accurate picture of your grow environment than using temperature or humidity alone. Light sensors. Light sensors measure light intensity and duration, ensuring your plants are getting the right amount of usable light each day. In a small grow tent, it's easy to accidentally hang your lights too close to the canopy, causing light burn or if they are too far away, it can result in stretchy, weak plants. A light sensor helps you dial in the perfect distance and duration by allowing you to see how evenly light is distributed across your canopy. Next, let's discuss the topic of odor control. In smaller spaces, odors can get out of hand fast. While it's impossible to stop your grow area from smelling completely, here are a few tips on how you can contain it. The first and most effective line of defense is an air purifier. This tool uses a process called adsorption to strip odors from the air. Here is how it works. Inside the filter, air is pulled through a dense bed of activated charcoal, which has been treated to have an incredibly porous surface area. As the air passes through, the odor molecules bond to the surface of the carbon getting trapped inside while the cleaned air exits through your exhaust system. Keep in mind that over time, the activated carbon becomes saturated and it will stop effectively neutralizing odors. When that happens, it's time to replace the filter to keep things under control. To make the whole system truly effective, you'll also want to maintain negative pressure. 
Scientifically speaking, negative pressure is when the air pressure inside your grow space is slightly lower than the air pressure outside of it. This happens when your exhaust fan removes air faster than it's being replaced by intake vents or fans. The result is a gentle inward airflow through any openings, which prevents unfiltered air and the odors it carries from escaping. And if you want to take things a step further, smart plug timers can automate your exhaust fan based on light cycles or temperature thresholds. Some growers also connect their ventilation setup to smart home systems like Alexa or Google Home, giving them the ability to monitor airflow or toggle fans remotely, all from their phone. In small grow spaces where every detail counts, odor control is about more than just comfort. It's part of keeping your grow clean, contained, and smelling fresh. Now one of the tools I think every grower, regardless of skill level, should consider is a smart controller. In any grow setup, especially small ones, it's easy to get caught up in constantly adjusting fans, lights, or humidity levels by hand. A smart controller changes that. It acts as the central brain of your grow space, allowing you to monitor and control key environmental factors like temperature, humidity, lighting, and airflow all from one device. With a smart controller, you're not just making life easier. You're giving your plants a more stable, responsive environment to thrive in. To give you an example, let's say your plant is in the vegetative stage and growing fast. A smart controller allows you to automate and fine-tune your environment without constant manual adjustments. This kind of hands-off precision not only improves plant health by keeping conditions stable, it also mimics natural rhythms, saves energy, and takes the pressure off you as a grower. In small grow spaces where precision matters and fluctuations can happen fast, a smart controller takes the guesswork out and keeps your environment stable, so you can focus on growing, not constantly adjusting equipment. Whether you're just starting out or fine-tuning every corner of your grow tent, these smart tools offer a reliable way to grow more efficiently, more confidently, and in harmony with your plant's environment. And that's a wrap on today's episode. Whether you're dialing in your setup or just getting your hands in the soil for the first time, remember, this is a journey, and every small improvement adds up to bigger and better results. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and make sure to drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your story and what techniques have worked best for you. Your insights help fuel this community and shape future videos. And if you want to dive even deeper, consider becoming a Cannabis Guy channel member. You'll unlock access to monthly giveaways, exclusive content, loyalty badges, member-only discount codes, and much, much more. It's a great way to support the channel, stay informed, and grow right alongside an amazing group of cultivators. Before we sign off for this video, I just wanted to give a huge thank you to all of our subscribers for supporting the channel, and an extra shout out to our amazing members. At the end of this video, I've included a special thank you to this channel's top supporters, so stick around to see your names featured. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, stay curious, my friends.